Causal Determinism in the Matrix by Saba Amer and Eshna Gupta. Paris Simon Laplace was a prominent French physicist and philosopher who was born on the 23rd of March 1749 and died 5th of March 1827. Although he was best known for his contributions to the stability of the solar system and influenced a whole new generation of mathematics, he branched out into philosophy and theorized causal determinism. But what exactly is causal determinism? Causal determinism is, roughly speaking, the idea that every event is necessitated by other events and conditions together with the laws of nature. Perry Simon Laplace was known for his five-volume treaties which developed a strong mathematical understanding of the motion of bodies in space, including several inequalities that we noticed in their orbits. Laplace suggested that the nature of the universe is completely deterministic. What was happening at the time that influenced his theory on causal determinism was the research he was conducting and he had previously made formulas and theories in astronomical physics and studies in depth about the laws of nature. This led to the knowledge that whatever happened in the past would affect the following events and if you knew these previous events you could precisely predict the future. This influenced his theory of causal determinism and our inability to have free will. So how does this all fit into the matrix? Causal determinism is the idea that free will is impossible and all events in the universe are a cause of other events and free will does not exist. This is demonstrated in many parts of the movie, the most notable and prevalent being when Neo knocks over the vase after the oracle says to watch out and then the oracle points out what will really hurt your noggin is would you have still knocked over the vase if I didn't say anything. This shows the effect of previous events affecting each other to cause the future. She also implies that there is a possibility that it could have been predetermined due to the fact that there was still a possibility that Nier couldn't have knocked over the vase even without her interference. Saba's opinion on causal determinism is similar to Morpheus's, that previous events do have an effect on future decisions, but we still have the free will to make our next choice. This may mean we are constrained into the types of choices we make, but still at the end have the freedom for our next decision. However, my opinion strays from his when he says he believes that some events are fated to happen, whereas I think if we have the free will to determine our next decision, it will not make sense to have fate, as this suggests we don't have free will over certain things, and this is illogical to have free will over some choices and not others. Eschner, however, believes that causal determinism is a plausible theory due to the fact that the Bloch universe is a popular theory with a lot of evidence backing it up. The Bloch universe implies that all of time is already pre-existing and time is an illusion that leads us to believe we can write our own future. Since previous events determine the future, this would mean we have no free will and even though it may seem we are making our next decision, they are a combination of the past. Fatalism with the idea of cause and effect in which the past can determine the future makes causal determinism a believable idea. Thank you for listening, Mr. Henshaw. Created using Powtoon.